everyone i'm francesca welcome welcome back to my youtube channel today i am so excited because i have two super delicious slow cooker recipes for you all the first one is going to be a stuffed pepper casserole it has peppers onions vegan sausage quinoa rice and then we top it with vegan cheddar cheese so good and the second one is a slow cooker chicken pot pie so basically you make a chicken pot pie filling in the slow cooker and then you make some crescent rolls and then you put them on top and it's delicious as always both these recipes are completely vegan the four nut recipes are on my blog there's a link in the description box down below for that and i write the ingredients in the description box down below as well just check out the description box it has everything you need to know sign up for my newsletter get my cookbook and yeah i think you guys are going to love these if you like this video please make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff helps channel out helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes and let's get into it our first recipe is this stuffed pepper casserole. So we're gonna start off by adding all ingredients into the crock pot. So we have quinoa, short grain white rice, onion, and then we are going to add in some frozen green peas. I have two chopped up Mexican field roast sausages and some bell peppers, green and red, chopped up. Then we're gonna add in tomato sauce and vegetable broth, and that is it. You're going to give this a nice mix up, and then you're gonna pop the lid on, and we're gonna cook this on high for three hours. That's what we're gonna set it to start at. After two hours and 15 minutes, I'm just going to remove the lid, give it a mix. You could taste it at this point if you wanna add in any more salt. We're gonna add our vegan cheddar cheese on top, pop the lid on, lower the heat to low, and then cook it for another 45 minutes. So it needs three hours of cook time altogether. Then we are all done. Look how beautiful and melted that vegan cheese is on top. The rice and quinoa are completely cooked and it is so delicious. We're gonna garnish with some chopped parsley and red pepper flakes. You could also add vegan Parmesan cheese on here, add anything you like in. And that is it. This meal is so delicious. It's so easy to make. I love that you're getting the quinoa and the rice, but if you wanna just use one grain, you totally can. And now you can just serve it up, enjoy. And there you go. Super easy and great to bring for lunches. For our second recipe, we're gonna make this slow cooker chicken pot pie. So we're gonna start off by mixing together flour and water. This is gonna act as a thickener in our pot pie. So just add a little water in, give it a whisk, and then add the remaining bits of water. I just do this to make sure I really give all the flour a nice whisk. If you wanna use maybe cornstarch, that would also work as well. So once it's all whisked up, we're gonna add everything into the crock pot. We have frozen corn, frozen peas. We are going to add in onion, carrots, garlic, some celery, add in any veggies you like to this, of course, and then vegan chicken, this is the one from Like Meat, and then we're gonna add in some vegan butter and our flour water mixture, non-dairy milk, I'm using the one from Ripple, I'm gonna tear in some sage, and we're gonna add some fresh thyme, and we're also going to add in some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna add in water, and just give that a mix up. You're going to pop the lid on and you're gonna cook this on high for four hours. Once there's about an hour left in cooking, you're gonna take a pack of crescent rolls and we're just gonna unroll them. We're going to make little mini crescent swirls. So we're gonna start with half of the dough. We're gonna take one crescent roll. We are then going to cut that one triangle in half. From there, we are going to roll it up as you would a little crescent roll. So just roll it up nice and tight and they just look so cute. I actually really wanna just make little mini crescent rolls, but then we're gonna cut these in half so they have a flat bottom and that is it. That's what's gonna go on top of our pot pie. I just think that these are so cute. They make it look so pretty and so fancy and again, minimal effort, you know? I'm all about looking fancy with minimal effort. So we're just going to repeat and you're going to end up with 32 little swirls and some of them where if the top got a little too high, I kind of flattened it with my knife or the finger. Pop those onto a baking sheet and you're gonna pop those in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for nine minutes. The bottoms will be nice and golden, but the tops should be a little bit pale in color because we are gonna pop this all in the oven again for like five minutes later on. So our chicken pot pie filling is all done. It's nice and creamy and thick. Again, give it a taste, add in more seasonings to what you like. I loved how this came out. It tasted so good. Now we're gonna add those little crescent rolls on top. If you don't wanna put this in the oven, you don't have to, but you could just pop it in the oven 350 Fahrenheit for five minutes. It just kind of gets everything to like mush together, melds everything together. I'm gonna garnish with some fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. You could add some black pepper on top. And how pretty is this? I love those little crescent swirls on top. I think it makes it look so special. And as much as I love a traditional pot pie, this is such an easier way of making it. Add you know some more fresh herbs to your dish and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said earlier, full recipes are on the blog. See you soon. Bye.